Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Nine changes made by Rusty Erasmus for the Springbok side that will face the All Blacks in Johannesburg on Saturday at Ellis Park. With the big news being that Ibn Etzebet at this stage not going to feature because of a back injury. Although a late call might still be made on his fitness later this week. As a result, Ruan Okia, Pierce the Toy in at lock. Starts as well for Ben Jason Dixon, Sasha Bami Gomezulu, and Apalele Fassi. Uh, those would have been the big standout selection with regards to inexperienced players who will start um, on Saturday. Apart from that, a lot of the selections kind of as maybe sort of predicted, except you look at the bench, no uh, lock replacement. Three loose forwards in Mark Riverstone, Albert Lowe, and Grant Williams. It is a 6 2 split as well. Uh, Malcolm Marks shifts down to the bench. Bongi Manambi will start and. Uh, uh, some very interesting uh, combinations as well. Kubus Ranak will partner Sasha Fahmi Gomezulu. Um, Sia Khadisi um, will be partnered by Ben Jason Dixon, as mentioned, and Jasper Visa, who will get a first start and a first game for the Spring Mosque this international season. Before we look at the side, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right, there it is. The team to face, the All Blacks. Let's go through it. So the front row, Oxen Chair, Bongi Manambi, and France Mal Herber will start. Now, when we looked at this uh, team, and I did my prediction uh, yesterday, um, there was a report that Gerald uh, Club was potentially going to start. Um, and uh, that potentially was a bit of a toss-up between Malcolm Marks, Bongi Manambi. So it is the six front rowers that we kind of expected, but it will be Oxen Chair and Bongi Manambi who will start. Malcolm Marks and Gerald Stenekamp will be used as impact players. In the second row, Peter Stenekamp, the toy starts number four jersey for the first time in a very long time, if ever, actually, for the box. Uh, he'll be part of my run of care, although, as mentioned, um, Rusty Rasmus has alluded in this press conference that Evan Etzebeth will uh, potentially um, face the All Blacks after a late call might be made. They'll make the call, apparently, tonight, Tuesday night, on whether or not he might be yet fit. CFDC will lead the side. Ben Jason Dixon gets to start after impressing against Australia, and Yasper Visa comes straight in and starts at eight. We, that physicality, that ball carrying, is uh, definitely what sort of gets Jasper Visa that selection there. Um, I expect it to be perfectly honest. I think he has been the number one uh, choice at eight for, for a while for the box. Um, and it was kind of the obvious replacement for Dwayne from Munich, um based on the last few years. Yes, he hasn't played, but um, has played a lot for the box in a short, short time. I mean, you go look at his caps, for example. And for somebody who only made his debut about two two years ago, I think, you know, has two or three years ago, has already rock knocked out 27 caps. Um, so he's been a very important player. Kubus Ranach traditionally has always started with Fafta Clerks not been available. A huge call to start Sasha Fahmer Gomazulu at 10. The rest of the back line is, uh, sorry, that actually needs to be switched around, but it is uh, Cody Orenson, number 11 jersey, Chesney Colby in the 14, uh, Damien Delendi at 12, Jesse Creel at 13, and Apele Fassi at full back. Very, very surprised about that Fassi decision. I think we all probably expected to see Valilaru. This is a testament to Sasha Fahmer Gomazulu. If Andre Pollard was starting, I think you'd see Vili Leroux there. But because I think we've got that sort of playmaking ability in Sasha Fahmi Gomezulu, we can afford to go with a non sort of playmaker in Apple Fassi, who's more of a counter attacking type of fullback. Loves space, loves to use, run into space, loves running in himself, for example. Um, you know, we'll see a couple of chips over the top and uh, a very good turn of pace from Apple Fassi. So it's a very attacking side that, um, that the Springboks have named. If you look at the bench, Malcolm Marks, Chaos Tina Cup, Vincent Koch, Mark Griffin Stard, Albert Flo, Quaka Smith, the forwards. It's going to be an absolute nightmare at the breakdown in the second half for the All Blacks, which I think is the plan from the box. Because you've got Malcolm Marks, Mark Griffin Stard, Quaka Smith all coming on who are very good over the ball. And um, I'll tell you what, Albert Flo is not terrible either. And then Grant Williams, who's been so good off the bench, will continue in that role. Andre Paul is going to continue to be that sort of option off the bench if things were to go badly. The nice thing is we've got lots of options here. Andre Pollock can come in at 10 or 12. Sash Fahmi Gomezulu can move to 12, can move to 15, for example. Jesse Creel can move to the wing. So there's still plenty of options um, from a backline perspective. Grant Williams can play on the wing, as can Kulmus Reinach. So, you know, options there at nine as well. It's an exciting team. I mean, I think majority of the team, about 80% of the players we kind of expected based on availability. The exciting selection for me is obviously backing Sasha at 10. I think that's really cool to see. And then the fussy one is probably, I think, one that we didn't see coming. Uh, but an exciting one in itself. Commenting on the selection, um, Rasi has spoken about the injuries, for example. So Ibn Etzebeth and Salman Murat uh, missing the uh, 
the game. Other players are uh, unavailable for selection. Arches Tame and Franco Mostert, Lord Diaga and Jean Klein. Um, so Rusty Rusper said on the lock issue saying, it is not ideal that we have so many injuries at lock, but we are pleased with the way we once stood um, his man in our, in our last match and we are confident that he'll combine well with Peter Steph the toy at lock. This will serve as a fantastic opportunity for him to prove what he can do against one of the best teams in the world. It's also good to have a player of Jasper's caliber back and we know that he'll bring a lot of energy on attack and defense after biding his time to return to the field. And we're looking forward to seeing his physicality combined with the rest of the back row. Speaking about Apple Fassi, he said, we also have a settled back line and Apple made a strong statement against the Wallabies in Perth. So we are excited to see what they have to offer against a heavily attack orientated all back black line. Um, if we look at some of the stats, for example, in terms of the uh, the, the, the the caps, um, it is the total caps for the Spimov start up at 632, 225 in the back line, 377 in the forwards, on the bench, there are further 286 caps. The average caps per play in the back line, 36. Forwards, 47. And on the bench, 35. Um, Quaker Smith, by the way, uh, if you should take the field, he'll need only four more tests to go to up to 50. Chasen, Keith, Chasen Colby needs four points to reach 100 points. And should Malcolm Mark score a try, he will move to 20 into 10th equal place on the all-time Springbok try scoring list with James Small. He is already the leading Springbok forward try scorer in history. Lots to talk about. What do you think about the team? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.